with both Freedom and Liberty already having punched their ticket into the district tournament. This final game of the regular season will of course be a battle for the higher seed going into playoffs, but more importantly for both of these teams, it'll be about keeping Bethlehem's biggest rivalry alive. The best scenario is, is to beat our inner city rivalry. Uh, you know, districts is, is a, a week away, but for, for this week, it's for us, to be honest, it's not about districts. It's trying to win the, the first league title in school history and uh, to, to beat a, our inner city rival, which that means a lot to our community and our school. Uh, right now, the, the focus is just on trying to beat them. They're so good that we have to just focus on them. We can't be looking into the next week, or else they're going to come out here and put on a show against us. Their three linebackers are some of the best that I've seen play high school in my three years here at Liberty. Uh, I think especially their middle linebacker does a nice job disengaging, getting off blocks, reading things, getting downhill. And it's just going to be a challenge for us up front. I mean, it's, it's about assignment defense. Uh, and no matter what, I think we have to win some battles in line scrimmage. So we're looking for our offensive lines and, and defensive lines to play well. But we've got to tackle well in space and win the turnover battle. Number 10 of the high school football season and a good one. Liberty Hurricanes in a record of 7-2 taking on the 8-1 Freedom Patriots. And this is what it's all about. Rivalry weekend. These two teams going at it in the 49th meeting and boy a lot on the line with the number 3 seed in the upcoming tournament at stake as well. Jim. Doesn't take much but the 3 seed on the line. The championship about to be tied. Freedom wins this ball game. A lot on this line here this afternoon. Should be a great ball game. rivals in the 49th meeting and they have a share of the East Penn Conference Championship with Parkland.